Hello, I'm the Nostalgia Critic Jr. I remember it, so you don't have to. Hey kids, can you remember back in the 90s? What was the most popular TV channel ever? Most people will say Cartoon Network. What would I think? It's Nickelodeon. They had famous movies like, um, uh, I don't know. Uh, Harry the Spy was good. Well, I can't think of any good movies that Nickelodeon has made. But what I'm going to talk about is the three best movies that I gotta say from Nickelodeon. The Rugrats 3 Pack. Now, there's one, two good ones and one bad one. Can you name which one? Okay, so we won't hear any noises, just in case. I don't want anyone to the video, so which one do you think was the worst? Rugrats the movie, Rugrats in Paris, or Rugrats Go Wild? If you said Rugrats Go Wild, you are correct. I mean, Rugrats Go Wild was an okay movie. It wasn't that great. Well... I'm just going to quickly skim across all the movies. Let's talk with the first movie. Rugrats the movie first introduced the new newest Rugrat member, Dill Pickles. Now Dill, he was okay I guess, but the one thing that was worse, the worst thing about this movie was the villain. It was a wolf that was going to go and eat the babies. What? A wolf? Cuckoo, cuckoo, cuckoo. But, I'll talk, well, in the second movie, they put, like, a little more emphasis in it, and they made a whole different villain. It's Coco LaBouche. I'll get to her when I talk about Rugrats in Paris, but anyway, they go out into the woods, they... They want to wish that they want to go back to their real home, so they meet the wizard. Not talking about the 1980s movie, The Wizard, but the well, what they say is the Lizard Man, which is a ripoff from Spider-Man. <laughs> I'm just joking. Yeah, I hate Spider-Man. I do like him a little bit, just a little bit, I'm into Star Wars. But anyway, uh. I'm not going to ruin the ending because it's a great movie. Um, give it a watch. You've never seen it. $90 that you have seen it. Well, now let's talk about Rugrats in Paris, one of my favorite Rugrats movies. I do like Go Wild and the movie, the original, but I think the second one is my favorite in my opinion. Well, Rugrats in Paris... Uh, is that Stu makes this, uh, Stu is Tommy's dead, if you didn't know, but, uh, let's do more of that. Uh, Stu makes this reptar thing that doesn't work, so they have to go to France, and Chaz is still heartbroken that his wife is dead. I think she died of a car crash or something, it's just my guess, but, if you know, just tell me. I might be wrong, but I don't know. But well, anyway, um, the head of Rooktar Land, which is named Coco LaBouche, she wants to be president, so she has to, um, date some freaking ginger kid, or guy, um, sort of a reddish blonde with freckles. If, I know you can't see it very well, but all across my face, I'm like a raccoon. So anyway, um, Coco doesn't get along with the babies as much, and Chucky has this weird bear named Wawa. Wawa? Why don't you just name it like Radar or something, or Timmy or Little Jimmy or nothing but Wawa. It's like saying like, wah, like you got something awesome. Well, anyway, um, they're dating, 
she has an assistant named Jean-Claude. I know it's a little hard to pronounce, but just break it up into two words. Jean-Claude. That's how you pronounce it. Jean-Claude, I think. That's how you pronounce it, but I don't know. Um, oh, oh, yes. Um, They go to this play, and then to tomorrow was, is going to be the big wedding day. Oh, and there's also this... Uh, uh, Kira, yeah, there's Kira, um, a Chinese, uh, assistant of Coco, and she has a little crush on Chaz, that's Chaz, um, and then when the big day comes, uh, the babies are held hostage at, like, where the factory is, where, uh, Reptar is held, and Jean-Claude is reading the paper. I am dead friggin' serious. Jean Claude is reading the newspaper. Now, how they get away, not gonna spoil it, but anyway, they get into the Reptar that is in the play. If you don't know how to control it, well, it's, it's simple. Like, you just put on a helmet, gloves, boots, and every movement you do, Reptar does. So, if you want to break something, break it. I wish I was part of that. I would destroy Paris. Well, anyway, they go to the church, they beat the hell out of Coco. Well, Angelica just tells her, uh, Chaz the truth. He marries, uh, Kimmy. I mean, Kimmy, that's her daughter, Kira. And that's it. You want to check it out? Check it out. It's a nice one. Now, the worst. Uh, Rugrats Go Wild. If you don't know what Rugrats Go Wild is, it's just a ripoff of some boat movie or something, and they get stranded. And guess who they meet? I'll give you five seconds to choose who it is. Mm -hmm. Okay, have you guessed yet? The Wild Thornberries? Now, they already made a movie, uh, which is Eliza goes to save this baby cub named uh, Tally by poachers. Um... It's an okay movie. Oh, check it out. It's a good one. Just trying to get all of it off. But anyway, um, they meet them. Well, Angelica meets uh, the. Sorry if you can hear that. It's my mom. Oh, anyway, uh, she meets Debbie, the teenage daughter. And she wants to be bossy, and she's just as bossy as Angelica. And you know what the worst thing about this movie is? It's a friggin' uh, animal. I'm dead serious. They were copying the original movie. Yeah, copying the original. But this time, it's not a wolf. It's a... It was either a leopard, I think it was a leopard, or a cheetah. Yeah, it was a cheetah, not a leopard. Sorry, open the case. Well, they get stranded. Angelica does this gayest impression of Princess Leia with those Danishes, Danish haircut. And then they meet uh, the dick nose of uh, uh, Nigel Strawberry. Strawberry. Thornberry. Why am I saying strawberry? Oh yeah, that's why the baby's called Nigel Strawberry. Strawberry. What the hell? Well, that's pretty much it. Now, the one thing in the Rugrats movie, there's a bonus short. Catch dra cat, cats, cat dog wins those. Uh, yeah, it's just a short of cat dog. The one thing I don't understand is, how do they take a dump? Like, how do they shit? Makes no sense. Like, does it come out of the dog's mouth, and the dog's shit comes out of the uh, cat's mouth? It's like I live in hell. Thank you, Peter Griffin. Now, I'm going to make this a 12-minute video, so I don't know what to talk about. Well, I guess I could talk more about the movie. Uh, guess what happens? Spike starts talking. No joke. He starts ta talking. The voice of Spike is Bruce Willis. Bruce Willis. I can name three movies he was in. Sorry. 
I'm not very coordinated with the hands. Three movies. One is Die Hard. Two, Over the Hedge. And this, Rugrats Go Wild. Those are the three movies I can name off the bat with Bruce Willis. I think it was in Stort Little 3, but I'm not sure. That's a bad movie. Stort Little 3 sucks. It's animated. Bad mistake, Paramount. Bad mistake. Oh, wait, no, it wasn't Paramount. It was something else. Uh, there's nothing really else. What can I talk about in two minutes? Hmm. Maybe I could talk more about Funny F Fun Fest. Uh, no, 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 no. Let me, let me talk to you about Steam. If you, if you have a Steam account, that's awesome. But I used to have a Steam account. And it just, if you delete it, they're going to reject your ass. If you delete a game like Left 4 Dead 1, 2, or Aliens vs. Predator, I do own those games. Did gameplay videos of them. I haven't done gameplay vi videos on Left 4 Dead. We were, me and Nolan were doing one, but it was just too damn stubborn. It wouldn't load, so I deleted it. But now I'm trying to install it, but it just won't let me. So I don't know what the deal that is. I might do gameplay videos on this. I'm not going to reset it because I'm on Vader's castle. And I'm trying to get the dually lightsaber. So I mean, I tried, oh, damn it. I tried like five times to get it, but I failed miserably every time. So that's it. Check out the Rugrats movies. I'm the Nostalgia Critic, Junior, so, so long. My next video will be on National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation. See ya.